Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel. So I wanted to make a quick video about a new gaming tech that has come to my attention and I just wanted to share it. It's not too big of a deal. Most of the time you are not going to get a super crazy amount of damage increase from it or anything like that. So I will get that out first. If you are looking for that, then this is not the video for you. You can leave. But if you want to stay, then uh, I will tell you that, uh, that this tech can allow you to increase your gaming's dps obviously uh, a little bit and it also lowers your energy requirements by 10 to 20 percent so which is the main point why this is useful and the other thing that it does is that it makes gaming a better unit for those who do not have c6 bennett before we can get into it though i will have to explain a few things here so something about gaming that you may or may not know is that uh, if one mancha is already on the field then you cannot spawn another one so basically if you burst with gaming and your mancha spawns attacks the enemy and then starts coming back to you if before he comes back to you if you try to plunge down then even though he is above 50 percent hp his passive will not proc and you will not be spawning a second mancha Basically, you use this in your combos to make it so that you can do two quick E's. So you just burst and this guy st strikes him. And while he's on your, on his way back to you, you just use your elemental skill, plunge down and then he's back to you. So you can do a second skill pretty quickly. And then he just spawns again and yeah, all that stuff, the normal combos. Now the thing that I do want to talk about is that uh, even though the mancha does not spawn unless you plunge down and there is no other mancha on the field, your skill cooldown starts as soon as you press it and pounce towards the enemy. This means so you can basically do something like bursting so mancha hits the enemy and while he's on his way back you can press your elemental skill, jump in the air and if, if it lines up perfectly you will be able to catch this mancha. So now your elemental skill has no cooldown, but also there's no mancha on the field. So if you plunge down now, this mancha will spawn again. And if you again use your elemental skill, because it has no cooldown, right? You reset it midair. So then you can catch it again and plunge down again. So yeah, basically it lets you spam your plunges from your elemental skills very, very fast. If everything lines up perfectly, you can end up getting 9 or 10 plunges within the same 12 seconds of burst duration, which is very huge compared to the regular 5 or 6 that you get. I accidentally managed to do it a couple times for 1 or 2 plunges during my initial days of testing. I wanted to make it consistent and include in the gaming guide, but I did not because it was very very RNG reliant. But if you want to see how it looks in game, here's a clip of me doing it. <laughs> Many happy returns! There's a clip of Kevin Man that I was able to find, so credit to him, where he's able to do it for multiple plunges, so you can see just how fast the spam is. But if this is not consistent, if this is so much RNG reliant, then why am I showing this to you? Well, that's because the tech that I found recently about is based on this. So like I said earlier, catching the mancha in the air is very very unreliable and you will not be able to uh, spawn a second mancha with your plunges if one is already on the field. So what you can do is you can use your burst like usual, mancha will spawn and then you will use your elemental skill but you will wait before plunging down. You wait enough so that before gaming is able to land on the ground this mancha from the burst actually manages to catch up to you so it resets your elemental skill cooldown and then if you plunge down your skill is off cooldown and a new mancha will spawn from here again same thing you will do elemental skill hover in the air for a little bit do not glide if you glide then you will lose the special plunge so just hover in the air uh, and let this mancha catch up to you and then you plunge down again if you do everything perfectly you can get up to eight skills with this and if even even if you mess up a little bit you can you will still get seven which is pretty good also the second thing is that uh, because you are doing now seven plunges you can generate an extra set of particles which will reduce the gaming's er requirements by 10 to 15 percent pretty good here's how it looks in game 
notice that while I'm hovering in the air, I can press my directional movement keys to slightly change gaming's direction, which allows me to somewhat control his plunge AoE and consolidate my AoE a lot better than before, which is a pretty nice quality of life. Anyway, so that was the quick word I wanted to make about this gaming tech. Uh, if you can use it, then good for you. If you can't, then it doesn't really affect you in any way. But it is still a new option if you want to play my teams. Right? So yeah. See you next time.